Consumers assume products on store shelves are reasonably safe. When a smoker takes on big tobacco, the court examines the duty to warn in American Tobacco Company versus Grinnell. Beginning in the late 19th century, courts, books, and magazines recognized the health risks of smoking. Recognition of the risk of addiction followed in the 1980s. Wiley Grinnell began smoking in 1952. For over 30 years, Grinnell exclusively smoked American Tobacco Company's cigarettes. Grinnell developed lung cancer. Had Grinnell smoked cigarettes with less tar or a better filter, he still would have developed cancer, and virtually all cigarettes contained hazardous pesticide residue. Grinnell brought defect, warranty, fraud, and negligence claims against American and argued American caused his fatal illness. At deposition, Grinnell testified that had he known cigarettes were addictive, he never would have started smoking. Grinnell passed away, and his estate pursued his case. The trial court granted summary judgment for American. The appeals court reversed. The Texas Supreme Court took the case.